Hello guys and gals and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be taking a look at the old Ring of the Malignant, which is the Ring of Red Fuhrer. The Ring of Red Fuhrer is a ring that comes specifically from Barshan. It was added during the, um, well, a little bit after the season of the Malignant because, of course, everybody really liked it. And um, it's basically just one of the Malignant powers kind of like manifested into a unique item. Uh, in fact, they brought back a lot of the malignant powers this season in Season 5. There's tons of them as aspects now, but uh, but not as uniques. Now, the Ring of Red Fuhrer has a uh, bonus to maximum resource of 9 to 15, which is pretty nice, if, especially if you're scaling specific things, uh, like maybe using Romulanis, or maybe you're scaling uh, with, you know, uh, I'm trying to think here, like Kick. Uh, there's a couple different things that scale. I can't remember if... Um, Ooh, I can't remember if Hammer of the Ancients Hoda still scales based on resource or if they took that away. And so many patches and so many changes. And uh, gains 2% critical strike chance for every 10 Fury. I guess it does still scale, but not in the same way. So, um, so basically having maximum resource, though, is nice. It definitely helps for the specific builds that are using maximum resource. And, uh, and then you do want it if you're scaling maximum resource. On top of this, it also gives 7 to 9% increased attack speed, which is definitely nice. And it also gives 88 to 115% critical strike damage, which is a pretty nice bonus and can help scale some of those multipliers if you're using them, uh, as well as a 40% fire resistance buff. Not really sure anybody really cares about that, but uh, but you'll have maxed out fire resistance. So, especially since it also has fire res on it natively too, so it's got like fifty percent fire res. Um, now the special effect on this is after spending one hundred fury with within three seconds, your next cast of Hammer of the Ancients, Upheaval, or Death Blow within five seconds is guaranteed critical strike and deals forty percent up to forty percent bonus critical strike damage. Um, so basically, this is going to guarantee that you're going to get a crit, and it's also going to enhance the damage of that crit, uh, which is rather interesting. So if you're utilizing this, all you really have to do is you just got to spend a certain amount of resource. Um, once you spend a certain amount of resource, and you use your next upheaval, or you use your next death blow, or you use your next uh, hoda, you're going to get that bonus. Now, guaranteed critical strike isn't really that important, because I feel like crit is so easy to get these days that um, it's not really a big deal. But the 40% multiplier for your critical strike damage is absolutely amazing um, and uh, is definitely going to come in handy for some of these. Now, there's a lot of really good uniques for these aspects now, like Hoda, Upheaval, and Death Blow. Um, honestly, there's some really fun stuff now. And I'm trying to, like, pull out all the relevant items, but... For instance, with Upheaval um, and Hoda, those are core skills. So with those, you could use things like Hellhammer, which are really neat. Um, but you can also, for instance, with the Deathblow ability, you could be using the Third Blade in combination with Overkill, and you can get some pretty darn interesting interactions. Um, I've already done a video on Overkill, so if you want to see that, I'd recommend checking it out. And I've already done a video on Third Blade. So if you want to see that, I'd recommend checking it out. Um, it's definitely a very fun setup. Um, upheaval itself uh, seems really nice with the Hellhammer these days. It's just it's a, it's a fun little setup with the wallop passive, the upheaval ranks, the upheaval size. Um, all of it can definitely be very interesting. I'm not entirely sure about Hoda. I think Hoda has uh, unfortunately been nerfed into oblivion, but um, it might still be viable with Hoda if you are trying to build a, a Hoda build. Yeah. Unfortunately, Hoda was like the king of the mountain for quite some time, and that draws a lot of eyeballs to you, and people get jealous, and the developers nerf you, and... Mr. Goody Two-Shoes, Mr. Goody Two-Shoes, Ginger Evil Mentor here. Why bother farming when you can go to MMOEXP.com and simply purchase your items in gold? GGM would have you farm the items, what a pathetic being. Use code GEM, Ginger Evil Mentor, for 6% off your entire purchase. And don't tell Ginger Gaming Mentor that I was here. Uh, and that's just kind of what happens. Uh, I never really hopped on the Hoda train myself, but this I know for a fact that the Ring of Red Fuhrer was actually utilized in the Hoda builds uh, for a while. However, um, nowadays, I think Upheaval, death blow. There's definitely some very fun builds. I've already seen uh, Leon do a pretty crazy Deathblow build uh, with the Overkill and the Third Blade, and it's pretty ridiculous, if I gotta say so myself. 
Uh, the Ring of Red Fuhrer does uh, have a flavor text that says, Anger brings strength but clouds the mind. You must learn to keep to focus your fury. Direct it with purpose. Keep our sacred duty at the forefront of your mind always. Talik to Madoc. Mm -hmm. Talik was, was lecturing Madoc, the one that threw axes. <laughs> something, there's something funny about that. I don't know why. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, there are a lot of ways that you can potentially utilize this, though. So, like, let's go ahead and put on some of these items. So, like, this is the upheaval. Um, and obviously, once you've spent a certain amount of fury, you can, of course, get access to these free critical strikes and the free damage that comes with them. Um, obviously, though, it's not always easy to maintain your fury, um, especially if you're using this ring, because it's going to take up one of your aspects that you're building resource with so keep that in mind um you could also potentially be utilizing the overkill third blade setup which is through death blow and that one's actually pretty fun too um, which is basically where you can spam death blow as fast as you possibly want and that one looks something like that i literally just wasted all my resources in like a second let me do it this way so you can see the AoE better. As you can see, it's a pretty cool AoE. Uh, honestly, I've um, with the right aspects and setting things up properly, I've been able to completely and utterly maintain like full use of it. And I do that during the uh, during the the death blow video, and we talk about that. Um, the Ring of Red Fury is definitely an interesting ring if you're using any of these builds. It could potentially work itself in, or you might need to drop it for a aspect to help you restore your fury, uh, which is, I think, kind of where I'm sitting right now, because I'm currently using the Starlight aspect and the Ring of the Starless Skies to basically have infinite resource, and the Ring of Red Fury kind of disrupts that at the moment, so I'd have to build around it. Hmm... Um, as I said, this particular item drops from Varshan, so if you're interested in picking up a Ring of the Red Fuhrer, um, you just need to go uh, farm Echo of Varshan. This is uh, the tool, uh, or target farming tool on Diablo4.life, and you can pretty much just pick any unique in here, and it will tell you where they come from. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals joining me, even when we're just talking about a simple ring like the Ring of Red Fuhrer. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with it, what kind of builds you've worked into. Um, are you using a uh, Dead Overkill? Are you using the Third Blade? Um, have you been playing around with the Hellhammer? I mean, you know, I need to know these things. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals joining me for these videos, even when we're just talking about this ring. And uh, as always, keep watching.